Okay, I thought we would talk about finishing the bridge until there was you. A song that you've said you like. It's a great tune, very popular. Like I said, been done over the ages by many people, including the Beatles. If you want to hear a little bit more of an upbeat version, listen to the Beatles version uh, sometime. It's one of the earliest songs they did, as a matter of fact. And it's a very nice version. It's got a nice guitar solo in it. Um, but anyway, picking it up from the bridge on sheet number two, where it ends on that C, F, C, it goes C, F, C. Then we have the pickup notes. Then we get to that F6, where we come up here in bar. And I believe in the previous video on this, I explained that you could do that a second way also, way up here, if you preferred, but I don't know which way you choose to, chose to do it. I'm gonna play it here. And then it goes to that F sharp diminished. We pick the C note on the fifth fret. And then we have this tricky chord, probably the hardest chord in the um, piece, you never got back to me as to whether or not you were having any trouble with it. If you are, we can, you know, adjust that area if the song is otherwise all right, um, but that's like a real trouble spot. We can, you know, make an adjustment there to help you get through the song a little bit more smoothly. But then we, as we said, we kind of slide that first finger up and bar it drop the um, middle finger down it's tricky so once again taking it back to the beginning of the bridge C F C I realize we've gone over this before just kind of reviewing it F sharp diminished pick the C note slide up okay and then the next measure is where we stopped we came to this little three note C chord now you'll notice I put a little star there on the tab at that measure because um, the way we had it originally at the end of that measure you were playing the ninth fret of the G string to get that E note if you want You'll see above it, I also put the open E, which is the same note. So you could play that open E string instead of playing the ninth fret there. Okay, and what would the advantage of that be? It maybe, you know, it would allow you to get to the next chord a little bit more quickly because you could use that open string advantage. When you play that open E, you can be starting to move your hand to the next chord, which is that D sharp minor seven. Now we've been using this chord form in this song. And in this case, it's six, we deaden it, and then we have six, seven, six. And then all we're doing there is we're sliding that up to an E minor seven, and then we're sliding it back down to an E flat minor seven, and then we're sliding it again to a D minor seven. So once you have that D sharp minor seven, you pretty well have it made because you're just gonna go from here to here to here to here. It's all the same chord, so keep that in mind as you're playing through that section because it looks like a lot on paper, but in reality, it's not much. So going back to the beginning of that line where we have the C chord, now I'm gonna pick the open E. As I pick the open E, I'm going to this D sharp minor seven. Land that, slide it up, slide it back down, play the D minor seven, okay? I'm going to take it back to the beginning of that page now. So we have the C, F, C, the three pickup notes up to the F6. 
F sharp diminished, play the C note, slide up, back to the C chord. I'm going to pick the open E. As I pick the open E, I'm going to go Okay, so as I said, it looks like a lot on paper there, but it's actually a pretty easy section of the song once you grab that D sharp minor 7. So when you're coming off that C chord and you pick that open E, you want to make sure that that first finger, think about where that first finger is going to go. It's going to go from here to here, to the 6th fret. So you want to get that right down there. Slide up, back down. Now after that, we have the G note in the melody. And the way we're going to accomplish that is if you look at the D minor 7 that we just played, we have to reach back and get this note on the 3rd fret. So watch how we're going to do that. We're on that D minor 7. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these two fingers straight up. And then I'm going to reach over with my first finger to play that G note. Okay? So I'm going from the D minor 7. I'm going to bring these two fingers straight up and at the same time bring that first finger. And then I pick the 6th fret, which is the note that the pinky is on. So D minor 7, bring those two fingers straight up, bring this one over to the G, play the F note that the pinky is on. Now that's qu quite a stretch there. And once again, if you can't, you really have to open your hand up. If you can't accomplish that, once again, let me know because there are alternatives. That's just the way that I do it. So going back to the beginning of that line, we have the C, playing the open E, grab that D sharp minor seven, up to the E minor seven, back down to the D minor seven, Stretch it out. Okay. Now the next chord there is D9. Okay. And that we're actually really close to that. So watch what happens when we, if you choose to use this chord here, in order to get to the D9, which is next, it's pretty simple. This finger and the ring finger aren't going to move. Second and ring finger aren't going to move. The pinky is going to slide back. And the first finger is going to come to the fourth fret of the D string. And we strum now as inner four, play the fifth fret, and then play the fifth fret of the B string. So once you get to that D9 chord, in order to play that measure, you just have to play the right strings. You strum the chord, play the fifth fret of the G string, play the fifth fret of the B string. Okay? Going back to that C once again on the second line. Playing the open E, grab that D sharp minor 7. Back down to the D minor. Stretch it out. Now when I go to that D9, like I said, just slide into it there. Now the next chord I'm going to, I'm using a bar. So I'm going to a G7, so I have 3, 5, 3, 4, 3, okay, regular bar chord with no pinky because it's a G7. What I am going to do is use that pinky to reach up here and play that high A note on the 5th fret. So we got the G7 chord strummed for 3 beats, 1, 2, 3, Four. Now I'm going to go to a G7 augmented, which is three blank three four four. So I'm going from G, going back to the beginning of that line.
okay? Now to continue back into the main part of the song that we've all already learned, all I'm going to do is slide my pinky up one fret to the fifth fret, slide it up to the sixth fret, and then slide it back to play the C major seven chord. Okay, I'm gonna take it from that G7. Got the G7. Play the high A note with the pinky. Go to the G7 augmented. You notice the first finger stayed where it was. Now I'm just gonna slide my pinky up one, up one again, and then keep it on that string and slide back to the C major seven. Okay, I'm gonna go back now and play that entire page in time and count through it. So we have the C, F, C, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, 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 and one. Okay? Now I notice on that, I just noticed on that uh, measure with the G7 augmented, those, uh, that E to the F note, those should actually be connected as eighth notes. I didn't connect them. You can correct that if you want, but it's no big deal. So I'm going to play it play from the beginning of that page, top of that page again, nice and slow, to give you something to play along with. So we have C, F, C, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, 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 and one. Okay, that's a lot to work on. It's pretty hard, but um, once again, unless you tell me you can play something, all I can do is assume that you can play it. So uh, if you have any issues or questions on this, let me know or anything else. Okay, so have fun with that. That basically completes the song. We will talk about the, the ending of it, which is basically just the beginning. But uh, we will cover that and play the song uh, in its entirety for you to play along with. But I'll give you some time to work on this. Have a good one.